My name is Muhammad Mustafa Hussein. I'm an associate professor in the electrical engineering program of King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. I develop new applications with electronics um, and I find it really adventurous but more importantly uh, this can actually augment the quality of our life. This can touch uh, the humanity in variety of ways and that's what I do. You know, I always believe that empowering everyone uh, and letting them come up with ideas uh, can be the most uh, impactful way uh, to really disseminate the impact of technology and that's exactly uh, what I'm trying to do is like you know making electronics really simple to learn easy to understand and uh, so that a lot of people are encouraged to contribute with their ideas and to take them from ideas to product. I do believe that leaders and innovators I, I think they're kind of the same breed and both of the groups they share one important attribute and that is they're very optimistic uh, they're forward-looking they believe in the future and they're very hopeful they're dreamer and they're maker i think uh, that is a combination of attributes that is instilled in each of them i think you know i i came from uh, industrial background and that kind of like you know um, uh, put some inspiration in me that to look at things from a very pragmatic perspective and uh, the way that uh, I always tell my group uh, that we are always get inspired by asking one question why we do what we do uh, and to answer them in a comprehensive manner rather than just focusing from my comfort zone uh, and that that can be complex uh, that can be very challenging, uh, but that eventually pays off. I think when we would like to, I always say that I, I, I love to change the way that we lead our life, right? And uh, life is pretty complex and it has uh, uh, many different facets. Uh, so when we would love to uh, find out a new innovation or to develop something, a new solution, and we would like to do them in a comprehensive manner. There are many different things that we have to think about, uh, to learn, uh, and to apply them. A and this balancing act is very complex and challenging. But at the same time, it's fun. You know that um, when I was a young kid, uh, I always wanted to be an astronaut. Uh, and still, like you know, that uh, we are exploring, like you know, that uh, the Mars exploration. And if I get a call, I will just join, I'll hop in. Um, so when the astronauts, uh, they wear all the suits, uh, that kind of like, you know, that, that stayed in my mind. And then when the first time uh, in uh, University of Southern California, I joined the graduate program, 2001, and I went to the clean room, I figured out that we also have to wear the bunny suit. And I, I just couldn't actually like, you know, that resist uh, my instinct to just to do this. Uh, and then I kind of like you know, spent more than 10,000 hours inside the fab during my PhD and that just uh, stayed with me and I love to actually build small things uh, and uh, the only way that you can do it is go to the clean room and build those things. I think uh, that's where I got some kind of like you know the little bit funny inspiration. Yeah, of course, like, you know, the, the first inspiration definitely came from my family, uh, my parents, my brother, uh, and then my wife joined with me. And uh, uh, even today, when I go back home every day, I talk to my mom, uh, who is in her uh, late, late uh, like, you know, the, she is uh, 70 years old, and uh, uh, my both of my daughters, 10 and 8 years. And I talk to them in a very plain, simple language that what I'm trying to do. Uh, and when they actually get excited, I know that this is going to change someone's life because uh, we're talking about two completely two different generations and spectrum of people. Uh, and uh, uh, definitely like, you know, that uh, I, I, I do recognize the fact that uh, the education that I received from uh, University of Texas at Austin and then my uh, organizations, Texas Instruments, Sematech, and definitely KAUST. Uh, KAUST has uh, uh, enabled us to actually like, you know, kind of unleashed 
uh, or potential to chase something uh, which might be a little bit restrictive in many other places. So uh, I can attest that I do what I like and what I believe that this is going to make an impact. And that's where like, you know, that I'm immensely grateful of this opportunity that uh, we do have here. You know, at some point I made uh, a comment that uh, we always ask ourselves one question that why we do what we do. And that's very important because uh, just to give an example uh, that in 2012 I was uh, visiting my mom uh, and uh, she was talking about like you know her arthritis pain uh, in her finger joint and the knee joint area. There are two different areas. Uh, and, and, and then I realized like you know that uh, she was showing like you know the uh, the commercially available, which we can buy off the shelf, the chemical patches. Uh, and uh, you can use it for uh, at the most 10 hours. They're chemical based, so mostly children cannot use them. Uh, for different locations, different size you have to buy. And then after one time use, you have to throw it away. So eventually, it is not that much like, you know, the, uh, like, you know, the effective uh, as a status quo. Uh, but immediately I thought like, you know, that if we can actually digitize the whole platform uh, and we can make something which is uh, compliant, physically flexible and stretchable, I can control the temperature uh, with my smart gadgets uh, wirelessly, I can maintain a precise temperature uh, and then I can use it like, you know, that uh, on and off like, you know, frequently without just disposing it like, you know, after one time use and eventually can make it really, really cost effective, uh, then can be very impactful. Uh, and then we started working on this and then uh, we developed like, you know, this uh, smart thermal patch. Uh, and today, uh, one of the largest pharmaceutical industries is actually uh, working on commercialization of that and that's going to be a game changer. So if, if I take this example, uh, there are many things that we can do as uh, engineers and scientists. Uh, we just have to look at and not to oversimplify uh, the, all the interesting aspects of our life. Uh, and that's exactly where I, most of the time, I get my inspiration. I think the most important part is always going to be, are we inspiring each other? Uh, and uh, what we do, I, I think like, you know, I, you know, that my dad is a physician and he always keeps telling me something that, um, keep doing good work and uh, that's all you need to do because uh, always uh, chase excellence, not success, because the other things, they just follow. Uh, and uh, like, you know, that this kind of platform, hopefully will uh, give us the access to many more, uh, like, you know, the interested uh, audience who hopefully will be inspired, but uh, by what we are talking, what we are doing. Uh, and that's exactly where, like, you know, when people start feeling that we can do so many interesting things and like, you know, that uh, as long as we have the passion and then the other stuffs, like, you know, the definitely the resource requirement, like, you know, it can be the grants, it can be like, you know, the, the recognition, but it can be more importantly, like, you know, that, uh, uh, like, you know, word of mouth, like, you know, the talking about what we do uh, is uh, more important and that actually attracts other things. Uh, we, we, we learn about new problems and we try to think about uh, that uh, to find out solution together and that's exactly where we learn and we grow.